Καλησπέρα σε όλου, κυρίε και κύριοι. Φίλοι ακροατέ του ΠΟΑ Παντού, είναι μια ακόμη Παναθηναϊκή συνέντευξη. Το μεγάλο Αθηναϊκό Ντέρμπι μεταξύ Παναθηναϊκού και ΑΕΚ είναι αύριο, Κυριακή, 11 Σεπτεμβρίου στι 9.30 το βράδυ, στην κατάμεστη λεωφόρο. Ο Παναθηναϊκό, εάν, εάν και εφόσον πάρει το τρίποντο, ξεφεύγει με 12 βαθμού στη βαθμολογία και περιμένει αύριο τον Ολυμπιακό, ο θα παίξει με το βόλο. Σε μια τέτοια στιγμή, σε ένα τόσο κρίσιμο ντέρμπι, που κατά τη γνώμη μα και νομίζω κατά τη γνώμη πολλών θα κρίνει πάρα πολλά για το φετινό πρωτάθλημα, πρέπει να έχουμε ανθρώπου οι οποίοι ξέρουν τη Super League για να μα μιλάνε για τι ομάδε και να δίνουν τα φώτα του, τι προβλέψει του, ό,τι θέλετε πείτε. Σήμερα λοιπόν το pawpot.gr καλωσορίζει έναν άνθρωπο ο οποίο είναι παροτοκαμπισμένο, τα λέγαμε, στα γήπεδα τη Super League, ένα άνθρωπο ο οποίο θα είναι τρία χρόνια στον ατρόμητο. Και ο κύριο που είναι στην άλλη γραμμή δεν είναι άλλο από τον κύριο Νταμίρ Κάναντι. Μ' αρέσει welcome to pawpot.gr. I don't believe that because I think uh, Panathinaikos Ajax is always a big uh, game and uh, everybody um, will want uh, want to win this game for sure. Both uh, coaches uh, will give the best uh, to win the game because it's also important uh, for the fans, uh, for the team, uh, for himself, uh, for the coaches. And um, you know how is the football? You know it's very sensible and. Uh, I'm sure that they try to win this game. Now it's not important if they score more or less goals. So I have a similar game yesterday against Hajduk Split here. So I know it's a lot of emotions inside. And uh, I know that um, that will be for sure a big game. Okay. Uh, let's go for the systems of the two teams. Panathinaikos has worked uh, the system 4-3-3. And Taek is expected to... To go with a three-five-two, the class of these systems will reveal the winner, in your opinion. Okay, for me, the system not uh, the winner. I think in the end, is this what they are going to do in the system? I think this is important. You have to find the balance. Um, uh, it's not uh, about four-three-three, three-five-two, four-four-two, or the four-two-three-one. I think uh, this is this what we are, what the team's going to do in the system. How is the mentality? How they go in every fight? How brave they are also in the one-one situations, especially in a game like this. It's very important, uh, of course, to have a good plan. Um, but uh, to realize your plan on the pitch, I think this is the most important: to find your spaces, uh, to to find spaces. And um, so we'll see. I think both uh, coaches have an idea uh, to come in the last line to score the goal to win this game and. Uh, Is this to don't think this is the system to, to win? I can't hear you well. Okay. You hear me? Okay, you okay. Me? Yes, yes, I hear you very well now. Only before. Uh, Mr. Kanadi Panathinaikos has a big loss for the beginning uh, is Juancar. Juancar is a classic fullback, a player who likes to come up from the flanks and creates problems for the defenses. His absence, his absence from the starting lineup will have a negative impact for Panathinaikos. In your opinion? Uh, I didn't hear well. Sorry, I didn't hear exactly what you said. Uh, okay. The question again, please. Okay, okay. Panathinaikos uh, has a, uh, has a very important player named Juancar. He's a full, he's a right back who really likes to come from the flanks behind to the offense and create uh, problems from the for the enemy defenses. Yeah. Uh, he won't be in the starting lineup for the derby. His place will uh, will be Christian Gannon. You you believe that uh, the absence of Juancar is going to have a negative impact for Panathinaikos? No, I think uh, Jovanovic uh, will think also to play on the wings. Uh, if you play 3-5-2, Ike, uh, I think on the wings is a big chance. You know, if he Uh, if he can come uh, with diagonal passes on the wings, I think it's uh, very important to have a fast player, a good player, and uh, maybe he can create also some problems to the free line. So I don't know how think the coach. Uh, it's very difficult, but I think uh, if they find against the free line, they stay wide, uh, 
that you can create and for free free uh, a lot of problems uh, I, but um, it's in depends it depends how they play if they come to these spaces this is the the key in that uh, and for sure the coach have an idea the key is the space uh, i'm going to ask you something uh, different uh, if you know panathinaikos had many transfers this year many big transfers panathinaikos signed uh, Adam Cherin, Sporar, Hordur Magnusson, Verbitz, and uh, before some days, Bernard. What's your opinion about the, about these players that Panathinaikos has transferred? Hassan. Okay, Adam, Adam Serin, uh, I worked with him in Nuremberg. Uh, he was a player of mine when he was young from Slovenia. He came, I know him well. Uh, he played in Rijeka, he played very well in Rijeka. He's a box to box player. So I think also. Um, Panathinaikos give a signal to, to want more now, to, to go in the top three, to, to come to the Champions League. I think all these transfers are good transfers. So you have to, uh, to bring them in the team, these players, you know, to fight. Because last season, I think Panathinaikos uh, play a very good season, special from how they play, the idea. The, they play very, very attractive, uh, I think, uh, for me, uh, what I see. Uh, the games. I didn't see all the games, but uh, now they have to do the next step because the result was the same from the past. I was on the third, fourth positioning, so I think this is not enough for Panathinaikos. They want to go to the next step, and for this reason, they they took now also good players from good leagues and with uh, good brands, with good names. So we will see. For the coaches now, uh, more pressure to be in the top three. I think the club wants, the fans wants, and uh, this is now the point uh, for Panathinaikos. Uh, I believe that they are good players, but now you have to put them in the team, and uh, this will be the challenge for the coach, for Jovanovic. Exactly. Panathinaikos never is, is okay with the third or fourth places. Uh, something else. Uh, the stadium of Leoforov will be full. It's going to be a sold out with uh, 16,000 Panathinaikos fans being for the derby. You have seen the Leoforos uh, full before when you were in Andromedos. Um, having seen that, having see, seen that uh, caused you to believe that uh, the sold out is going to play a big major role for the derby? I was never in sold out, uh, but uh, the, the, the atmosphere is amazing. And if the, the, the stadium is full, I think it will be an amazing atmosphere for Panathinaikos and... Uh, Yes, of course. Uh, we know how the Greek football uh, are thinking, how the people are, are positive, crazy for, for for his team. And I will be, I'm sure, and this is this what I like in the Greek football, the, the atmosphere, the people, the fans, how they are thinking, how they love his club. And uh, of course, uh, this will be an amazing atmosphere. I'm sure for this, and this will be very amazing if if the spirit from the fans come on the pitch I think this will help the team exactly uh, with a win Panathinaikos is going to uh, to be in the 12 points and that will remain to six points uh, even if it, uh, it's really early to the championship but uh, do you believe that if Panathinaikos wins this derby and goes ahead to the calendar he will have uh, an easier job to the next match to the next match for the championship uh, fight. And yeah, this is always a difficult question. I think uh, they have the possibilities to win this game. Of, of, of course, yes. I think this is always the challenge for Panathinaikos now to go in the next level, to go to do the next step. Uh, we know Panathinaikos have a great team and. Uh, I think this is now the big challenge for the coach to bring Panathinaikos on the top, you know, close to to the big clubs like Olympiakos and Pauk to, to to come there, you know. I believe that they can win this game. Uh, yes, of course, they can win. Uh, but also, I have his qualities. But uh, I think for Panathinaikos, is now the key to, to go in the next level, uh, to to be close to, to Olympiakos, to be a part of the championship, you know. And I think they tried this, uh, you see on the transfer this, and I believe that Panathinaikos will be uh, maybe in the next, uh, maybe not now, but maybe in the next uh, two years uh, can be closer to Olympiakos and Pau. Okay, but if he wins, he will be first with uh, 12 points. Yes, of course, uh, they are close, but in the end they have to be there, you know. 
that they can perform, that they have the quality, but you have to be stable. I think this is also very important. Can you be stable the whole year, the whole season? And uh, this is now the part uh, to bring them in the end in the Champions League you know, to play for qualification. This is the key. This is not the key. in uh, four games. In, in in 36 games, I think it's uh, it's the point. Exactly. This is the key, and the Champions League is our big dream. Uh, Mr. Kanati, uh, the coach, the I coach uh, Almeida will not have uh, Tuber in his uh, team, and uh, Bart Sengefeld is not still 100% ready, and it will probably won't be in the starting lineup. Uh, what do you? Uh, how does this uh, these two players affect the plans of the two coaches? Okay, Zuber, I think it's an important player. This will be sure that uh, if he don't play, that is uh, better for Panathinaikos. Uh, okay, I think the squad is, is big. He have a lot of possibilities. Have also now good transfers. Uh, what I see, I don't uh, check the transfers. I have to be honest now. I uh, I see only that they did not. Uh, I think the market is all well. Uh, he will fight. They want to go in the stadium uh, with a big, a good spot and uh, to give the fans also the, the feeling that they can win the champion. So I believe that uh, they can also also bring a good player in the team, in the squad, and uh, they can make problems for uh, Atenaikos, uh, I'm sure for this. Yes. It's a, it's a difficult question, question, and I will understand if you if you don't want to answer it. Who would you like to win, Panathinaikos or Ajax? No, for me, I think it's very difficult to say what I like. Uh, it's not a question what I like because I'm not from Greece and I'm not a fan from nobody. I respect all these teams and and uh, this is the point in the end. Uh, I, I like all these teams because they have uh, great uh, fans and uh, I like this atmosphere, you know, that I play with Atromitos against these big teams and I like like always the atmospheres. I'm not more or less for, for, for this or for this team. I'm from Austria and from Croatia. So I'm fan from Šibenik at the moment and uh, this is the most important. I wish uh, uh, everybody to, to be successful. I know how difficult it is to be successful. You have to work a lot for this and uh, this is the point. The better will win and I'm happy for everybody. This is the best answer you could uh, say. Uh, another thing, uh, you you know that in Greece we'd like to see spectacular derbies with uh, many chances, many shots, many fights. But uh, do you believe that in a derby it's better to be spectacular or to just uh, the players do the right thing, to just put a goal and then nothing more? I think the pressure is so big for both teams, uh, but in every in every derbies, I think uh, first of all they will try to come in the game with fight, with organization, with all these things, and then uh, we'll see what happens in the game. Uh, small decisions uh, can can change everything. You know, maybe one red card, maybe one situation, maybe one one goal, one team going front. Everything can change. Uh, small things are in the end very very important and. Uh, uh, then you will see. And I'm sure that they start to be organized, to be to be safe in the defense, uh, and then uh, in the game they will start to open and then to play a great game. Of course, but in the end, the most important is to win the derby. And uh, nobody will ask you one day later if you play well or the bad, uh, if you win lucky or you win because you de deserve. This is the truth. Football, it's only the result, and for this you have to to, to play. Exactly. And uh, last question about the two coaches of Panathinaikos and Daek, Van Jovanovic and Almeida. I don't know if you have ever faced them, but what's your opinion about those two coaches? Because Ivan Jovanovic has been only one year to Panathinaikos and he made a great job until now. Panathinaikos has took the Greek Cup uh, in the last year. He almost got to the UEFA Conference Link uh, next phase. What's your opinion about them? Yes, um, Jovanovic, I follow now one year. Of course, I was not in Greece the last year, but I see how they play. I think I told you before that they play attractive. They play a good football. 
I think this, say every, this uh, seeing everybody in, in, in Greece and everybody discuss about this, in the end was the result uh, the same what was before. We have to be honest. Uh, in the end is the result the most important. Uh, but I think he can improve this team. And now with good transfers, I think uh, Jovanovic can improve this team. Uh, and uh, I have a great opinion about him. I think he is a great coach and uh, he did, uh, he had a lot of success also in the past before you see that he can touch the team and this is in the end the most important and now you will see if he can bring this team in the top uh, three close to Olympiakos special to win the champion because I think also Panathinaikos want to win uh, like in the past uh, now also in the future or the, maybe now the champion this is the key and the point in that and I, I have to be honestly, I have a little bit contact to, to Ike, but uh, I don't know Almeida. I cannot say about uh, big things. He was in, in South uh, of America, he worked, and I can't say now something. It's not fair in some games. I don't follow every game from Ike, and this will be not fair to say something about this. We will see now. Give him the chance, uh, let him work, and uh, we will see how play Ike in the next games and in the next uh, weeks and months. Okay, I think this is enough, Mr. Kennedy. Thank you very much for being with me today. Κυρίε και κύριοι, εσεί από κάτω πατάτε τα link μα. Μπαίνετε στο παπαντού.gr. Μα ακολουθείτε σε Facebook, Instagram, Twitter και σε όλα τα social media. Να σα υπενθυμίσουμε ότι αύριο Κυριακή 9.30 ώρα το παπαντού θα σα περιγράψει ζωντανά τον τέρμπι από τη λεωφόρο, την κατάμεση λεωφόρο που θα είναι καμίνη, με τον Νίκο Παγκάγια στην περιγραφή. Mr. Kennedy, thank you very much again for being with us today. And uh, let's hope to be a very nice derby and Panathinaiko win. I wish you the best. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay.